this. What? Hey there, quirky folks. Hawkeye has arrived on Disney+, Plus, and we're absolutely adoring how grounded this series is. The trailers sold it as more of a comedy, but it's actually an inspiring action-packed story set within the happy holiday period. Personally, I'm loving the whole vibe of this series, and the fact that Clint is finally getting his own spotlight is just marvelous. On top of that, this outing actually feels better than Black Widow, so that's nice. Anyway, being a great show doesn't mean that it is free of mistakes. All right, I'll be in the car, stay safe. No, wait, no, Hawkeye, Hawkeye, wait, you're leaving? There are a few errors that I spotted in the first episode of Hawkeye, which I'm gonna share in this video. So get ready. The first three goof-ups came in, the whole New York battle. The MCU just loves going back to the first Avengers battle. It was special. It really announced the Avengers to the world in and outside the MCU. So, they made us relive it in Endgame, and gave us a few other perspectives to look at the battle from. And now, they've done it with Hawkeye. We saw the Battle of New York from little Kate Bishop's perspective. It seemed nice, just reminiscing this battle again. But sadly, if you compare it with what actually happened in the movie, this little perspective show was full of errors. The first thing that we noticed when Kate looked out of her building was the Stark Tower. Apparently, the tower was missing an R over there. And you see, there's where the first mistake comes in. The first letter to be knocked out of Stark's name was K. And along with the K, Thor had knocked out half of R as well. Moreover, by the time Hawkeye makes his jumps from the top of the building, Loki had fallen on the SNT as well. So really, the only letter that we and Kate should have seen on top of the Stark Tower at this time was A. For the second error in the battle, I'm going to point out the differences in Hawkeye's moves. After Hawkeye, I watched the battle from Hawkeye's perspective in the Avengers, and there is no angle or vantage point where Kate's building would have been facing towards Hawkeye's location. All the buildings on the right of him looked totally different from where Kate lived. But for the sake of the story, I'm going to let this one slide. I'm ready to believe that Kate had a clear view of Hawkeye. But Hawkeye's moves here are somewhat different to what we saw in the Avengers. First, he shot his last arrow at a Chitauri soldier approaching him from his right. Then, he hit another Chitauri soldier who was climbing towards him with his bow, before kicking him off the building. And he was standing a couple feet behind the ledge when he performed this three-hit combo. But, from Kate's view, we saw that Hawkeye shot his last arrow and then straight away kicked the climbing soldier off while standing on the ledge. So again, this is yet another minor error, as the scene was missing a couple of hits. But the third and the biggest error of this battle was its entire timing. Things were very silent on the outside when Eleanor had sent Kate back to her room to grab her checkers game. Why don't you go grab the checkers, we can liven things up. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. But that's when we spotted the first flying Chitauri ship outside her window. Now I'm assuming that those Chitauri soldiers had arrived from the portal just a few moments before we saw them there. If the battle had been going on before this, then everyone at the Bishop House would have heard it because their location was too close to the Stark Tower. So it's safe to think that they started hearing the explosions right when the battle started. And from that point onwards, it was just about three minutes until Kate spotted Hawkeye jumping off that ledge. We all know that this jumping moment came much later in the fight. When we saw the film, the battle had lasted over 19 minutes of the movie's runtime. And in a deleted scene of Avengers Endgame, Natasha told Rocket that the Avengers actually fought the Chitauri for about two to three hours. So clearly, the show had condensed the battle a lot in order to show how Kate was inspired in a quick succession. It was a good attempt at recreating things, but the detailing wasn't really on point here. Anyway, let's move on to mistake number four, which is the presence of Ant-Man. Rogers, look, if you do this, Rogers the Musical has been a pretty cool addition to the series, but what's great about it is that the show is self-aware of this musical. People who usually aren't fans of musicals often tend to ask, why are the performers singing and dancing about everything? And that's what Nathaniel asked about. But really, the problem with the musical came with the presence of Ant-Man. As I told you, the MCU just loves revisiting the events of 2012, and this musical also recreates those events. But it does it with Ant-Man. He wasn't present in those events, and even Clint pointed out about this mistake. It's actually a pep talk, patient. It was technically a mistake, which is why I've added it into the video. Flick me. <laughs> but this was actually intentional on the part of the Marvel creatives. You're making me beat up grass! Hawkeye director Ryze Thomas revealed that watching the musical was supposed to annoy Clint, and that's why Ant-Man was added. 
Nobody would know. Nobody. It could also be taken as a joke since Ant-Man could actually have been in the entire battle. And none of us would have known about it because of his size. Who knows? Maybe Hank Pym did grab his suit and showed up to fight and then left. Okay, I'm kidding. But if you think about it, Ant-Man's addition does create a little problem. In WandaVision, the characters were aware about how Scarlet Witch and Captain Marvel almost defeated Thanos. They shouldn't have known these intricate details, but they did. Is it authentic? I'm not sure how to answer that. And the Battle of New York was also very iconic, and it must have been heavily talked about because it happened right in front of the commoners. So, the general public should have known almost everything about the battle. But with Ant-Man and the musical, it seems that they don't really know much at all. Anyway, now I'm gonna move on to our last goof up, which is a minor continuity error. It happens during the secret auction that took place in the basement. In order to blend in, Kate grabbed the drinks tray from the other waiter. And when she did, it had four glasses of champagne on it, and then in the next shot, it had only three. Did Kate drink one of those? I guess we'll never know. Okay, that's all from the mistakes section of Hawkeye episode one. I'm actually happy that there were so less. Give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to check out some more fun content on our channel. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.